the real world and uh, we start in the future with the real world, did like end 2012 in August this year, before the last two days before the club. And there we will have a bar camp organized, and you are all invited, of course. And it's very interactive. All participants get to do something like today, later. And here you see some pictures of this year's Isla uh, conference in sunny Puerto Rico here. We have a nice beach. And we have some nice conversations. The global this year. And, uh, then further into the past, we have last year at Bobcat the new professional workshop, and these are some examples of what the people did. They draw some nice shapes and then presented their findings, and we got a nice group picture, like hopefully today. So that's what we are doing. In the real world, and now we're looking at the virtual so, world. In the virtual world, we are collaborating. We are not living in one country. Dirk and Sebastian is from Germany. Sonica and I are from Latvia, Chiara from Italy, and so on. So we need a platform for collaboration, and we are using seller social networks as Facebook. We are using blogs. We are using uh, wiki pages. And you can all join our wiki page and contribute there. And also we are tweeting and a lot of things. Yeah. And also, as you notice, Zek is filming our session. And this session will be available on our YouTube channel. And you can see this is print screen of uh, 2011 in Puerto Rico session where you can see these presentations which were given then. And quite new activity is a webinar which is uh, created uh, together with uh, another equal section and ALA. And it happened in January and we all participated there. There were around 70 mm -hmm. participants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and three presenters. And we were listening uh, we are web the presentations about new professionals, about benefits of new professionals, what, what can we do, what our associations are doing to benefit for us. And I'm inviting you to participate in next webinar. It's a quarterly webinar and it's for free in um, April. So you are all welcome. So this all sounds very exciting, but you may be wondering why am I supposed to do it? Which are the benefits of getting involved internationally? Well, there are at least four main benefits. And the first one is access to a rich personal and professional networking. Nowadays, the uh, importance of, network, of networking can't be stressed enough. You can do it through social media, you can do it in person, but it has become a must. And, the sec oh, and it's also very important to get a personal networking going on. So you can share your experience, your frustration, your enthusiasm, and still it's very <laughs> valuable. So a second main benefit is the training of personal and professional skills. And, um, yeah, it is, again, nowadays crucial to keep abreast in your professional skills and doing it internationally is really important and valuable. And a third one is inspiration for your daily work. Uh, I can give you an example. Yesterday I was talking with, um, <coughs> with a girl from Germany and we just figured out that we were doing almost the same thing at two different institutions. So we started to talk like how you deal with this, how you did that, uh, how you gonna to do these things, and it was really valuable for me, and I can't wait to go back and just put in practice what I discussed with her. And the third and the fourth um, in benefit, which is the last, but it's not really the least, is the impact that you participate in, that you will have on the wider LIS profession. I think that it's um, that contributing to our community, professional community should be something that we should all 
uh, buy-in and to participate on that.